And how did the bike fare today? Well, it fared really well. It skidded really well. But I should have straightened up a bit sooner. But I really wanted to stop. And that was my goal, was to stop once I committed to the skid. So I wasn't trying to swerve, or else I would have gone through the crosswalk. And that would have been bad if there was a pedestrian, and there was a pedestrian. But the pedestrian stepped off after the actual accident uh, and was watching me and looking at me, as you can see on the video if you take a close look, and sort of peering around the car looking at me and seeing if I was okay. But uh, anyways, that person was pretty concerned, but they had, uh, didn't expect the black car to stop either, they told me. So I could have gone with witnesses, but I didn't really want to push my luck, and it was my error and it could have been worse. So here's the damage of the bike. If you can see that, right here is his black paint there. I'm just gonna darken it with oil a bit there. And you can see that basically I just skidded off the side cover and it didn't crack the side cover here at all. It, man, they're tough bikes. <laughs> so that just sort of bumped off his, his uh, rear quarter panel and left the yellow paint for him and uh, that was all the damage to the bike even though the bike fell on this side <clears throat> the now fixed muffler held up really really well and didn't get any dings on the edge and didn't damage the end of the uh, circle here at all so <clears throat> I tried to save the bike, I tried to save myself to a certain extent but also I tried to stop the bike and uh, that's what happens when you throw hand signals and you have to get your hand back on the handlebar and at the same time brake and stop. And I was going too quick probably, but the cyclist blew the stop sign so, or the crosswalk, so I didn't expect that I was going to have to react that quickly. And uh, I screwed up. But I'm alive and that's what counts. So BSAs are tough bikes. Just a little bumper cars today, and uh, that's the lesson, I guess. Nobody is perfect.